everybody. Here's another redo, one from last year with the rift eye. This one had been originally fuchsia and take my petal pink and my purple. It was cute. It was nice. It's very pastel-y. It's not bright. It's not vibrant. And once I washed, I got that pink instead of my white. So we're just going to go ahead and redo it. We're going to make it better. So this one was a simple spiral. Um, center is up towards the shoulder, not in the center. I like off-centered spirals. I think it gives it a little bit more of a character. The center spirals are nice, but for some of us heavier people, it just draws to the belly, I feel. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know. Comment down below. Is that what you feel like? Patterns are hard. You don't want to do, like, horizontal because it makes you look big. You don't want to do vertical because it makes you look really tall or short or... It's just... Yeah. Patterns are hard sometimes. They're probably why I don't wear a lot of them. That's okay. It's my style. So, just doing the spiral. Trying to keep the colors where they were before. I'm trying to keep the gold similar. It's not going to be perfect because you're never going to pull it exactly the same. You can't. There's just no way. Unless you're like a super AI freak or something like that. you got processors for brains, but that's not me. is my mixed purple. This one, I believe, is my fuchsia and turquoise. And I'm just kind of going around with it on the areas that were purple showing previously. Just trying to get those covered. And the rest of this is just kind of thrown in there. I like random. Random's cool. Random turns out neat. Random gives you surprises so you can't ever be disappointed. <laughs> Sorry, I tend to babble sometimes. So yeah, just going around making sure everything's real saturated. And flip. repeating on this side as I did on the other side with my fuchsia and my purple and my red using the purple over top the areas of purple that were showing through and then just kind of being random with my red and my fuchsia. These colors will cover up what's been there and blend in with what I don't like about the previous dye. So 48 hours batching sitting in a bag 
Now this has been rinsed out in cold water to remove the soda ash and then rinsed in warmish hottish water to remove a lot of excess dye. Already it is much more vibrant, more color. This is turning out nice. So off to the washing machine to be washed. And regular detergent, I don't use anything special. And this is the before faded pastel -y. whites turn to pink. We make it better. See? Better. There it is in the sunshine. The red and the fuchsia blend in really well. That extra pop of purple really gives it some contrast. It turned out nice. I really like this one. This one turned out nice. You can still see some of the older color through, but not anything super noticeable because the colors that I used definitely work with it. So if you like what you see, like, subscribe, share, follow wherever you are, whatever platform you're seeing this on. Because I appreciate everything. Thank you and goodbye.